Hey everyone, I'm back and I'm a redhead again. So I was just going to do a small video on a few of my tips and tricks to keep your red hair the longest that you possibly can because I honestly wish that someone had given me a little bit of a tutorial before I went into this color. So this is the second time that I've had my red hair. The first time was about a year ago and I got it professionally done. It was quite expensive, <laughs> I will say. And I don't think that the dye job lasted as long as I would like it to, although I didn't know much about my red hair as it was the first time. So now I'm using just the box from the drugstore, any of the drugstores that you can think of, Rite Aid, Longs, or CVS, Safeway. And right now I'm using RR07 in the um, L'Oreal Preference. It's called Intense Red Copper. And it shows up very nicely on very bleached hair, and it even shows up on my darker hair at the bottom because before this I actually had black hair darker than my natural hair which is a natural black so it took me many many treatments to get it this light but it is doing really nicely now and it's holding the color surprisingly well so normally what I did the last time is I was experimenting with different conditioners and color safe shampoos and no matter what you have to use a color safe shampoo any kind you can experiment with what you like, but red is particularly hard to keep. So I like, so far, I like the L'Oreal Pure, the Ever Pure Shampoo and Conditioner, the moisture one. I feel like it really locks in the color. It doesn't wash it out too much because it is alcohol-free. And it just, it keeps my hair looking nicer for long, longer. And I also like the John Frieda Conditioner in Radiant Red. I feel like that one keeps my hair moisturized and protected for as long as it can and also magnifies the color so when you're out in the sunlight it really just draws attention to your hair and your color just amazingly well but I also use once a week I do a mask of oils now I usually just mix up my different oils that I have but right now I've been using the olive oil from a kit just extra virgin olive oil in a petri dish and some tea tree oil and I use that right on my roots because I am trying to grow my hair out. And it kind of invigorates the hair and it invigorates the scalp. And it just, it gives me such nice body after I'm done with it. And it just, it seems to keep my color in. I don't know why, because I would think that tea tree oil would be a little bit more acidic. But it's worked really well so far. So I'm going to keep doing that and hopefully my hair grows out. So normally I do do quite a few processes on my hair as well. And this is going to be a double process, I think, as I do have to bleach my hair and then I have to dye it. So it's probably not the best for my hair. Probably the black dye was better for it because it was only one process. But I really do like this color. And I feel like it illuminates my pale skin a lot better than the black did. Because for the longest time I was saying, oh, you know, my black hair, it highlights my eyes, makes my skin look whiter, you know, it's really nice. And then I started seeing more pictures of myself, and it wasn't looking so good after six years, so I think it was time to change my color. So I went for red again, and I couldn't be happier right now, so. But really, red is the most difficult color to keep, so of course I went from easiest to hardest, you know, naturally. But what really happens with my hair is that it will stay for about four weeks especially with especially with all the treatments it will stay for about four weeks being vibrant now you want to dye between four and six weeks especially if you have roots if your roots are more manageable and they're lighter than mine then you're going to have an easier time I have natural black hair so I have to dye at least every four weeks so if I can stand it, I'll go to six weeks, but it'll be pretty faded by that point. So I recommend probably between four and six weeks or even earlier if you have super, really dark hair and depending on the health of your hair. So follow just your normal routine. Use a color shave shampoo. Use a mask on your hair. I love the conditioning masks too. They're coming out with those. But L'Oreal has an average wear mask that is like a just a very rich conditioner and you leave it on your hair for 10 to 15 minutes and you just wash it out but it's a leave-in treatment so it just it, I feel like it keeps the color a whole lot longer and you don't need to spend millions of dollars to make your color stay because I'm on the end of the first week so far and this is looking pretty good so I'm happy 
But I hope these helped, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon.